Hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are in Palmyra, Pennsylvania, and we are at Black Swan Antiquities, you guys. That is right. We are back. Super excited. Get inside. Let's get inside and see what we can't find. Let's do it. Alrighty, guys, here we are on the interior of Black Swan Antiquities. Here we've got the namesake, a giant black swan. I love it with a rose in her bill, no less. You are going to see some kind of black swans, especially up towards the front. Their little mascot. I love it. All right, guys, let's get to shopping, shall we? Uh, the first one that I see is there are a number of cases up front, and what initially caught my eye was this McCoy Humpty Dumpty planter. Um, I remember my grandmother having this. Um, I will say this, that Department 56 a number of years ago did do an exact replica. Um, so I, I do have that. I actually gifted it to my mother. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I love seeing the original though. And uh, talk about bootylicious. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> She's showing it off for the world, folks. Um, he's very proud. I mean, good on you. You know, hey, why not? Get it where you can, right? Love is love, folks. So we've got all kinds of little bits and bobs in the first display cabinet. And then something caught my eye. Oh, yes, it did. It's on the next shelf. I was a little shook. It's a Holt Howard jam and jelly jar. Now, these have a lot of collectability. Um, this one was priced at $50, and I was like, oh, I kind of want to see that. And the first thing that I wanted to see, the spoon. There's usually, if it's not broken, it's repaired. However, this was in phenomenal condition. I did get this for $50 and 20% off, so that was a huge score. I was very excited about that. And next door here, we are seeing a white milk glass pedestal. Uh, this is Fenton um, with the ruffle. It is a three piece. It was priced at $100. I kind of, uh, because it was milk glass, I said no. Next to it, we've got a red diamond point. This is a Viking. They call these their glimmer lights. Of course, they can't, they, they couldn't be the same. There was some chipping up here around the top. It was priced at only $29. So I think for a collector, that would be a perfect piece. Um, unfortunately, even given the price, I did decide to leave it behind because of the damage. I did like the little Amberina hobnail beside it. Now, this is something that I've never really focused on before. I do have a thing for Malachi. I have a number of rings that do have Malachi, and we see a huge specimen here. It was $1,500, so I, <laughs> I did leave that one behind. Look at this absolutely amazing amethyst crystal. It is phenomenal. This one is also priced at $1,500. Um, I love these. I love the amethyst geode back there. That is amazing. I, I kind of wanted to, to show them. I thought they were cool. Don't know a lot about them, but hey. Why not show them off? Now, here we are seeing the Danish Little Mermaid. Um, this is a Royal Copenhagen. Uh, I love Royal Copenhagen. They have very soft sculpts. It's not overly painted. Um, unfortunately, the price was not where I want it to be for resale. Uh, here we have got a little iridized pink ep epern um, from... I was about to say false story. It's from Fenton. <laughs> it's priced at 150 Next to that, we have got, they have it labeled as Galil, um, French cameo glass. I don't know that it is original, but I think it's still fairly priced. Here, we've got some blue opalescent. I love this. I do think that it is Jefferson glass. Notice I was concentrating so hard that my tongue was sticking out. <laughs> Of reflection. Um, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. That's the reality of it, folks. You want to get a behind the scenes? My tongue's hanging out. Why do you think I wear a mask so often? <laughs> I don't know how to control my face anymore, so I just wear a mask. We'll call it a day. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, I got to remember. Look, there it is. So I'm concentrating, folks. Okay, we've got some Ross Bro uh, Easter candy containers here. I love these. These are great for a collector, a little pop of color. Um, doesn't take up a lot of space. And up top, oh my goodness, what do you know? We've got another Lefton Miss Pris. I was checking the, the uh, lid. I, they had it taped on rather well. She's in phenomenal condition. Now there are there is one little chip back here along her collar. Um, that said, it is the um, 
nicest Miss Pris that I have ever found. Typically, the tufts of hair on her side are chipped up. So we definitely snagged her and got her for a great deal. Well, I think we're doing pretty good for just walking in the door and finding some Holt Howard and Miss Pris Lefton. Why not? Let's hope it holds out, guys. Here we go. Alrighty guys, back to shopping. We're still here towards the front and then something caught my eye. It is this little Victorian egg cup and it does have a cherub on the side. What caught my eye was the attention to detail as well as the glazing. Um, the, the, the painted eyes and then I was like, please be marked, please be marked, please be marked. Now it does have two markings here. Um, it is in the style of the Meissen mark. I decided to go ahead and take a risk at only $7.00. Um, I do believe that this is my sin is French porcelain. They absolutely do a phenomenal job, um, of all of the sculptural details, as well as a simplified yet detailed painting. Um, there was no chips or cracks to the piece, which I thought was absolutely remarkable. So we did pick it up. Now, the vendor who had helped me pick out the Holt Howard Jam and Jelly said, hey, I think I have another piece of Holt Howard. It is this little ballerina candle hugger. It was initially priced at 34 However, he said, I'll cut you a deal and give it to you for 28 And I said, for 28 let's take her. She's unusual. I've never found her before. She does come in a four-piece set. Obviously, she has a twin candle hugger as well as two candle bases. But sometimes in, in the uh, thrifting and the antiquing, you all know you got to get what you can get when you can get it so we got her <laughs> all righty guys here we've got a pottery they have it as a candlestick it was repurposed into a, a um a lamp it is in the majolica style i can't say for certainty with the date i'm hesitant to want to get repurposed items because you don't know uh, it depends on the collector you know do they value the fact that it's been turned into a lamp or do they kind of are like no this this is supposed to be a candlestick so now here we are seeing two italian uh cordy um italian spaghetti cordy oh my goodness italian spaghetti <laughs> <laughs> Cordy figurines. They were in overall really good condition. Um, they were priced extraordinarily reasonable. However, this is again knowing your market, and I don't know that there's that much high of a demand for the Cordy figures. So I did decide to go ahead and leave those behind. Um, there was one little piece of hair that she was missing there on the front. Oh, look, it's opalescent glass. We've got a cute little egg cup here in an aqua opalescent. Um, I'm unfamiliar with this pattern. I've never seen it before. I wonder if maybe that one glows. Um, we do have a number of the Fenton pieces here, both the boot. We've got some hobnail. I love these little vases for some reason. It's priced at $19, which I think for a collector is very fair. I've done very well on those in the past. However, I just didn't feel like taking that chance today. What I did feel like taking a chance on was some vintage plush. This one's a little cutie. They have it marked as a knickerbocker, and she obviously there does have her tag. She is, of course, a rubber face, little sleeping baby. But the item that most caught my attention, of course was this little rubber-faced clown. I know a lot of people are triggered by the clowns. He's only $15. He is a gund. Um, he was in remarkable condition. I did run a quick comp on him. Um, he had a lot of resale value, so I did decide to go ahead and pick him up. He was also complete, which was just an added bonus. He didn't have any stains. There is a little bit of paint loss there to the face, but I thought, hey, why not? Isn't he darling? Look at him. He's not a creepy clown. He wants to love you, <laughs> especially while you're sleeping. Alrighty, guys, here we have got a beautiful, again, Majolica vase. Um, the coloring was very unusual for the piece. Interestingly enough, the Holt Howard ballerina did come from this display cabinet. Um, he went back and got this out of his cabinet for me. I thought it was an unusual specimen. Um, I've never seen, again, the color choicing to this piece, which made me a little leery of it because I didn't know if it was an antique, if it was a reproduction, if it was in the style of. Um, it was still a beautiful sculpt and certainly something that could be appreciated. And folks, if you don't know what to do with your jardiniers, do you know what you can do with it around Christmas time? Put a candle in it. Why not? <laughs> 
Uh, we've got some Roseville and the Donatella pattern here. I love it. It's a large Jardinier, priced at only $100, which I thought was a remarkable deal, especially for the condition that it was in. Speaking of Jardiniers, here we have got a fancy pants booth. Um, and of course, what caught my eye were these beautiful Majolica uh, Jardiniers and stands. This one was sans pot. This one did, of course, have a Chardonnay to it at the top. There was some paint loss to it. It's nothing that was horrible. It is priced at $72, keeping in mind that it is priced, I believe, for both pieces, um, which was remarkable. I'm kind of checking out the cracks here. Um, yeah, it definitely, we see some calcification. It was definitely used as an actual planter. Um, I kind of wanted to get a far away shot of it so you could see the complete set. I wasn't in love with it. Like I liked it and I appreciated it, but I wasn't in love with it. Now here we have got some Franz um, ceramics. This interestingly enough is part of the Kathy Ireland partnership. This is the dragonfly pattern. I'm going to give you a better look here at the back in just a second. It obviously has a number of dragonflies on it. It's sophisticated. It's elevated. It's elegant. It's priced at $79, which is actually a really good deal on this piece. Now, a little bit ago, I did end up picking up the Franz Kathy Ireland. Here's the back of it, of course, um, the Peacock. And it did well. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that it did as well to justify spending the money. And again, being a reseller, that's always something that you want to keep in mind. Now, here we are seeing the Etude. It is a musical magazine. It is from August of 1932. And that front graphic had me sold. Um, it was only $4.25. That is something that can certainly be framed. We did pick that up, of course. Now, here we are seeing the Napco storybook line. I have quite a bit of a... Of, of the pieces to this collection. Of course, we're seeing Bo Peep here. They made Red Riding Hood. They made Cinderella uh, as cookie jars and as well as a number of figurines that I do have. She's priced at $95, which is very fair for a collector. Um, at reselling, I'd probably want it to be about half of that. Uh, these were amazing. These are Miller Studio. They are, of course, chalkware. Now, they are in their original packaging, which I thought was absolutely yet bright in your walls, of course, with a little charm and whimsy. Why not? Miller wall plaque. <laughs> Now, these guys, of course, they're $6 each, so I did decide to go ahead and pick them up. They are missing the cellophane that would have held them in. However, they are in pristine condition. They were never used, um, so that was amazing. The same vendor that had that Frank Mill... I'm about running over to this thing. <laughs> It is the Star Wars Ewok. Um, she was still, and this is a female. This is a female Ewok. I was in love. Um, I, I got her. I love her. I'm going to hold on to her for a little bit. There are only two currently listed with their original box. One's actually listed in France for an extreme amount of money. Um, the other one is in the U.S. at 300 and something. She was only 80. I'm trying to think of what it was before. I think she was 90. I did, of course, get a discount. And that is the wonderful thing about Black Swan Antiquities is that if you do pay uh, with a debit card, um, you are typically given a 10% discount on your purchase. So that was amazing. And yeah, I did pick her up. She was in fantastic condition. Obviously, I am enamored. I am in love. And I didn't want to leave her behind. I almost did. And I was like, no, get her. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, here we've got another piece of Roseville. This is the Florentine pattern. You all know that I absolutely love it. Um, it was priced at only $50, and I was like, certainly there's something wrong with it. There is a small chip on the front or the back, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it at one of the handles. So I thought, hey, that's a good deal. We can live with that. That's our last piece, guys. We're going to wrap it up outside. All right, guys. Well, that is it for today's video. Um, I had a great time as I usually do here at Black, Black Swan Antiquities, again, in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. If you are ever in the area, definitely make sure to check it out. There's always a vast array of items, and I think today we re we really proved um, how there's something in here for everybody, including plush Ewoks. So, I mean, I don't know. Alrighty guys, well I do hope that you enjoyed today's video and until next time, remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye guys.